Do you have the uh, Do you have the new mount yet? Lisa from you the, the new EX trial. New mount, dude. I don't have a single one of the primal mounts in this tier. Because well, I would like them at some point. I don't care about farming them. I, I, don't care about, <laughs> I don't like farming primals anymore. Primals have a... Uh, primals in general in Dark and uh, Dark Siders. Uh, Shadow Rears. Dark, dark Siders. Oh, man, see <laughs> <laughs> dark Siders. <laughs> there you go. That's the name of the like, upcoming expansion for the game. Uh, what was I going to go check real quick? Oh, wait, I want to go to the market for real quick. Um... Yeah, I, uh, the first two were okay. Uh, Innocence was pretty cool. Hated mm. Hades. Hades was pretty dumb. Um, the the most the one before this one was pretty dumb too. I didn't like it. Also, didn't give anything uh, except uh, catch up gear. They didn't even drop them out. So I was like, eh, whatever. Uh, the current one, uh, I think, is probably the best one of this tier, maybe. Uh, I wanted to see how much these are going for. Oh, bounce? Yeah, because you can. Actually, this is hilarious. You can actually, you can actually sell the uh, not the new X Primal, but the there's a new thing called Fox Hollows, and you uh, you can play a mini game when you clear this trial, and uh, if you earn currency. And if you get enough currency, you can buy uh, buy stuff, one of those amount. But you can also get it from doing this other activity called Wondrous Tales, which is a weekly thing as well, where you have uh, nine different uh, tasks it tells you to do. And for each task you complete, you get to stamp uh, a board. And oh. uh, it's a four, it's a 16 grid, uh, 16 square board. And if you can form, you get to fill in 11 squares, if, or sorry, nine. If you make three lines, for each line you make, you can get a prize tier. And if you make three lines, you get the best prize tier. And they added, uh, there's a thing that you can select from that lets you can then turn in to get a mount, that mount as well. And people were selling it already. I'm surprised they're allowing people to sell it. I think the only reason it's being, they're allowing it to sell, because it is a, it's a collectible, I'm guessing. And they want people to have it. It, it kind of bugs me. It actually bugs me it can be sold. Uh, at least oh, right okay. now. Sure. If they're going to allow something like this to be sold, I mean... Why can't why can't you sell, like, almost anything in the game, I guess? Like, they should be able to sell, like, ultimate weapon tokens if you're going to do this. I mean, they're not <laughs> the same difficulty. I mean, Unreal Shiva is basically as hard as a an extreme trial. Uh, in my opinion, it's not that hard. Okay, where are the mounts? Sorry. I just want to see how much this costs. I think it's one over. Okay, right, here's the barding. Should be right above barding, I believe. Maybe not. Am I in the wrong category here? Wait, it's in miscellaneous. Yeah, why is it not on here, chat? Why am I missing it? Like, what happened to all the mounts? Did they add a new category called mounts or something? At the patch? There's a minion. Yeah, there's minions. It's usually in this category right here. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. Uh, uh, Incitatus Whistle. 29 million right now. It's sold for 20 million, 19 million, 27 million, 20 million. 19 million, 19 million, 20 million. Wow. Uh, and one person bought two. Whoa. Uh, We're gonna flip it. I do. Uh, yeah. Hopefully. The thing is, you only. It's gonna be annoying because this is only gonna be available for 16. What, roughly 16 weeks? And you only average about... <sighs> it's going to be rough. Um, if you don't get lucky and get the 100 fox. Mm. Like, basically, if you clear every week, 
and you only get the minimum amount, there's no one guarantee you can get the mount, which is kind of shitty. Uh, I actually don't like that. Like, if you clear it every week, the, the thing, you should be able to, uh, and you do it every single week, you should be able to get the mount with the currency. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. I mean, I, I, for, I foresee the price going up as we get closer because it's going to be, who knows when it'll come back, if it ever comes back. But it's, yeah, it sucks. Like, I'm actually, I'm doing uh, the thing on both my characters uh, just in case I get lucky on one. <laughs> if I get lucky on my alt, I'm just going to, like, pay the transfer fee. <laughs> transfer my character to here and then like just trade it with my main and be like yeah mm. there we go those worth 10 bucks <laughs> I'm like, uh, yeah that's hardcore MMO but basically right you should be able to get you should be able to get hopefully maybe 20 a week 20 of the currency which would mean five weeks is a hundred but like that only it only guarantees you probably getting like around 300 something which is not enough so I don't know. I'm a little worried about this. That uh, sure. it might not be doable. Anyway, let's get you... Oh, so sorry. I had the chat window up here. I'm trying this new thing, chat. Sorry. Let me see if I can do the settings for this real quick. Uh, opacity. Yeah, I, wanna, I want it to be completely opaque. So I'm trying this new thing, chat, where you could uh, maybe see... Uh, Where you can maybe see the, the the chat log while you're chatting. I don't know if it works or not. Oh, like the stream chat? Yeah, like it shows up in the thing. Because oh, people who watch screen. archives sometimes want, like we were talking sure. to chat. They're like, what the hell are they, what the hell is chat talking about? I understand that. Uh, now it just went away. Let me try typing again. Test. All right, now it's showing up again. Okay. So I mean, every time I resize it, it goes away. Interesting. Uh, oh, as far as you know, the mount isn't going away in 5.4, just that Shiva's getting swapped out with another Unreal Trial. Oh, so you think, like, I thought they're going to add a new mount for each primal. I like, yeah. Uh, by the way, chat, I don't like this chat thing. I'm deleting it. Sorry. <laughs> uh, it was worth trying out. Brad, uh, you need to do the final trial of the story, correct? Yeah. That's All right. Thing. So we're going to need some people to help Brad get through this final trial here. Yeah. Uh, Chad, my volume, please let me know. I can keep turning it up for a bit. Try to get it nice, nice I'll and make good. A party finder. Trial. What's up, Vinicus? All right, so I'm gonna put the party finder up. Uh, it will be password is four ones, and uh, I'm leaving up the standard uh, job stuff. But uh, if you want to join as something else, just let me know. I can uh, I can switch to uh, any job. We won't do the one yeah, player. Play what you want. Go. Yeah. So that's up. It's up in a uh, private. So just uh, we need uh, six more people to join. Come one, come all. Oof. I uh, have not, uh, after we're done with our stream today, I'm going to start my uh, revised A Realm Reborn playthrough. Oh, shit. Playing through the the new stuff. So, I do need to clarify something. So, someone posted a graphic on the subreddit for 14, Final Fantasy 14, the nice infographic that showcased, oh, sorry, someone's, uh, let me emote back, sorry. I play zoomed out sometimes. I don't look at my chat all the time. Everyone who watches, I'm sorry. But they post an infographic showing the breakdown of the quest number changes. Uh, and I noticed something. Uh, they did alter 
quest in the patches post a realm reborn so patch 2.1 to 2.5 oh. did get adjustments i did not know that i did not capture the original version of that so the video i'm working on will only be talking about the base version of a realm reborn i will not be going into the the patches past that unfortunately i didn't know that um so i will i will just be covering the base game uh you step too hard i i 500 uh, yeah yeah What does you step too hard mean? Is that like my character? No idea. I don't know what step too hard. Chat, what does step too hard mean? Help me define uh, step too hard. What is this poor? What are you? No, what are you doing? <laughs> Here, I will shower you with. Free money. Here. Here. Free cash. That'd be amazing if it was free cash. And I'll do a, a lolly ho to you as well. Uh, but yeah, the uh, the password is four ones. If you want to help uh, Brad get yeah, through this trial. The story. To finish the story. Um, yeah, there might be a bunch of people still playing through it. It's not everyone oh, can play sure. during. Not everyone can play during the week. The weekend is obviously the it took. There was the play. most. It was the highest queue I've seen during the week so far. Was today logging in. Hmm. Had like uh like forty one players in queue. Sure. Yeah. Expansion day is the most though. So, oh man, expansion oh, day. Yeah, that queue is in the. Th I mean the thousands it's amazing yep it's always fun to see that uh and then i think we can try and take you through the next uh next near fight okay because that will also give you a uh potentially give you a 490 left side Peace. here yeah okay um uh, here, I want to see the left here. Here So that will yeah. definitely help you out. Uh also the I didn't realize that the new EX trial drops 495 weapons. I thought it only dropped 480. I was like, oh, yeah, it should be pointless. But it is not. It drops 495. I was lucky and I got a headpiece from the new dungeon at least. Yeah, so that gives 475 gear. Yeah. Uh, I still need uh, I still need one more piece from that dungeon, actually. So, why would I want to get all the gear from... I have it on screen right now. Why would I want to get all the new gear from the new dungeon? Well, the eye level is important. The eye level is 475. So I just need the feet. And once I get the feet, I'll have every piece. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, you can only have one of the rings because they're on, they're unique. So I still have to use my 470 ring um, in addition to this. But what this means is I'll have all 475 gear, which is important because uh, for this fight right here, uh, the Epic of Alexander, you can only be you're synced at I 475. Any gear above that, you lose uh, materia stats don't count. So 475 means you get. This is the highest base level stats you're allowed to bring in. Plus, it will still count the materia melds. Uh, I don't know what I need to meld just yet. I gotta figure it out. But for having a, a set, like if I want to help out anyone who still wants to clear T at some point, or if I want to do re-clears to get more, more of the cool weapons. Uh... This will make it. This will. This is basically the 475 thing is a, is their version of like a little bit of a, a, a nerf slash echo. This will help uh, push people over the edge on the DPS checks. I think. Um, yeah. Sorry. 
uh, it will help. Uh, it'll give you a little bit more. Uh, give you a little bit more vitality. Mm -hmm. So you have a little bit more HP. Uh, you know, uh, basically, yeah, you'll be able to like kill things a little bit faster, survive a little bit longer, and I, I, I think it'll really help with the final phase. So the final phase can be, the DPS check can be a little nerve wracking. Uh, sure. Most people will wipe to it several times at Enrage, uh, but I feel like everyone in uh, this, if everyone can get in your group, can have these new pieces of gear. It'll help you out a little bit. Uh, we still need a, uh, still need a uh, five more people to join up. Uh, password is one 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 four ones. Four ones. Give it a few more minutes, and then we'll uh, we'll just queue in. Yeah. I might. If we had someone I knew who was healing. I would uh, I would switch to tank, so at least I could do the tank LB to not screw us over. <laughs> uh, you might, yeah, just be warned, Brad. No, yes. uh, even if I go on healer, uh, it will be out of my hands at one point. Oh, shit. As in, like, if, if we have two random tanks and they don't know what to do, I mean, and they don't, when they don't listen or whatever, they can cause us to wipe over and over and over again. Uh, this is a part that is 100% reliant on the tanks, and it will oh wipe it. Then the funny thing is. If you get past that mechanic, there is a checkpoint. I did not know this. So on day one, when I did this fight, we wiped seven times to that part. Uh, and I basically rage quit. I, I like They wouldn't vote dismiss. And one of the tanks was clearly trolling at that point uh, with what they were typing in party chat. So I just logged out. I, log I logged out and waited 10 minutes for the auto disconnect. Uh, which if you wait 10 minutes, if you log out for 10 minutes... You'll be kicked out of an instance. So I was like, I don't care. Oh, I don't even care if I'm doing it on stream. Like, I've got like a chat log of this guy saying he's wiping us because it's funny. And I'm like, nope, bye. <laughs> I was like, and they won't vote dismiss. I'm like, okay, I'm out of here. Oh, like, I'm not man. wasting MMOs, my time dude. with this guy. MMOs, man. Uh, on my alt character, I spammed a macro. I, I kept spamming like at the like a few seconds before they need to do it. I spammed it like six times in party chat. I basically told the group like, hey, I'm not gonna spoil anything for this fight because i know a lot of you like it looks like six of you are new here however i am going to spam a macro telling you to do something at one point because if it's not done we will wipe and like i had a group that wiped multiple times at this part and it's it's ha it's a long wait to get back there i don't want to sure. do that again and they're like okay that's fine and then we got past it but then someone messed up a mechanic and killed both me, uh, both healer, the uh, healer messed up mechanic, killed both of us, and killed our other razor, so we couldn't raise. And oh. I was like, shit, we're gonna have to start all over, but at least they know the timing now, we'll be fine. And then when we started the fight, I didn't realize it, but someone's like, oh, it's a two-parter, and I'm like, wait, no, it's not. I mean, yeah, there's a part after a transition, but, like, there's no mm -hmm. checkpoint. But when we started, I did my opener thinking, like, you have to do something at the very beginning. It didn't happen. I'm like, wait a second. Oh shit, there is a checkpoint in this fight. I was like, oh, that's so stupid they put it <laughs> after the part that's really annoying. I was like, they should have put it right before them. Sure, yeah. Is it yeah. is that checkpoint only in the story or is that in It's only the story. Uh okay. PX primals don't give you checkpoints. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I don't think those should have checkpoints. The only fights that have ever given you checkpoints that are higher difficulty were the uh Alpha Skate, Delta Skate, and Omega Skate. Uh, uh, did I say Omega Skate? Whatever. Uh, Sigma Skate. Alpha, Sigma, Delta Skate. So, Stormblood's Raids. The fourth fight of each floor had a fucking checkpoint. <laughs> like, it had, it had like, a, 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 like, a, like, a door boss. It was the nickname for them, because we actually used to have a door boss in older fights. Um... And then, if you cleared the door boss, if you wiped, you would still you would start at the beginning of the par part two. So, for example, uh, Kefka. Kefka had two phases. Mm -hmm. uh, the second phase is God Kefka. If you got to God Kefka and wiped, you just start at the beginning of God Kefka. You want to send you all the way back. And they sent you all the way back. Those would have easily been the most annoying fights and probably <laughs> some of the most like <laughs> intensive uh, in the game. And I think some people actually would have preferred if they did it that way because they thought they weren't, they could have been more challenging. But 
I I think the last tier's uh last tier's fights were more intense mechanics. I don't know, maybe not sure. It's kind of hard to say. Yeah. I was going to say they're harder or not, but What's our I mean like Omega MF ones? I think Omega MF was more intense than Shiva. But the DPS check on Shiva was legit. Damn. DPS checks are always intense. On the current on the current like Shiva's DPS check is not a joke. It's probably it's probably the tightest DPS check I've seen since uh the Alexander stuff. Hmm. Man, I'd be so curious to get your take on raiding in other MMOs. Like, whenever, one day when you do a WoW raid or something. Yeah. Because it's different. I uh, I keep hearing that. I, I just, and I've been like, explained how it's different. Uh, but I feel like not, do like I need to do it to understand it. Better. Sure, yeah. I agree, Aqua. Titan, Titan Savage was more fun than Shiva Savage. Uh, I'm hoping the next tier because we're free of the, the the primals. It was cool to see the reimagining of the primals. Uh, I'm hoping the next tier, uh, the next savage raid is all Final Fantasy eight shit. Whoa, that'd be tight. Like I'm Whoa, hoping. Throws I'm a hawk thing. on her shoulder. Oh shit! All right, we'll give it uh, four more minutes here, and we'll jump yeah. in. Uh, we got a. Uh, we need some more. We need four people. Uh, you can do WoW raids with ten people, right? Or a lot of them? I'm not sure. I haven't raided in a while since Vanilla, so I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's 25, man. Uh, I feel oh, like you're thinking more... Mythic raiding. Sure. Uh oh. I think more insane stuff was happening during Titan. Titan was, like, really cool. Titan, Titan Savage was like because they got to play with by different rules than the the original Titan fight. Uh, I had a blast seeing how like they reimagined mechanics to, to mm -hmm. do it differently. I thought it was really cool. Like I just uh, the Shiva mirror stuff is just like. Ugh. I don't like stuff where you have to look at the aggro table list to see cast. I think they need to. I need. I think they need to fix that. I think all. Sure. If, if you're gonna show a cast bar, it should be able to be seen under focus target. Either no telegraph or telegraph, like one or the other. Uh, Shinryu was another problem for a while. Uh, a lot of the cast were. Two of its casts only came from a. Uh, the aggro table and it was uh kind of stupid hellfire and uh levin whatever the lightning bolt lightning yeah. slash ones uh you can only see those cast uh, as well as one other thing i think so it's like why why are you doing that it's because it's, it's because you can't focus target a part of the boss it's because it's not targetable that's why uh i feel like they just need to refine the the ui to have an option to say display all cast or display enemy cast bars or something and have it displayed mm -hmm. somewhere on screen i mean you can take the aggro table and blow it up it just looks ugly to me it's not very uh it can it, it contributes to ui clutter uh divinity co-op is something i would love to do that would be super fun Maybe um, Baldur's Gate 3, we can do a stream. All right, uh, I think we're going to queue up. Yeah, let's just queue up. All right. Queue it! Got some good peeps in here. Got Lisa in here, dude, professional. All right. Uh, if both tanks are new, I don't care. I'm gonna be like, all right, hey, there's a tank mechanic. You need to let me break. Uh, I'll spam Mac. I'll spam a alert when you do it. Thank. You'll thank me for it later. Mm -hmm. 
We'll try and do the near raid after this. Yeah. Sure. I don't know how long this is going to take. <laughs> if we have a good group, it should go smoothly. If we have two reluctant tanks, uh, this might take a while. Is there a gear, uh, like a gear eye level you need for the new re near raid? Four. Yeah. I'm four sixty six. The puppets bunker requires four sixty five. <laughs> Just made it, dude. I mean, you don't have to be it if you're in a full party. So. Oh. So I would uh, I would recommend it. Oh yeah, where are you, Brad? Right now. You are. Um, uh, Christarium. Like outside the tower. Cool. Let's go look at what you got. <laughs> Crystal tower. Uh, but yeah, how do you, uh, have you liked uh, 5.3 so far? Me? It's like cool. The story stuff, yeah. Every time, so <laughs> every time with the story, my gaps between like looking at the story is so long. I like try to remember everything that happened. I'm like, oh yeah, okay, I kind of remember this shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, it's I good. Think... I like the dungeon actually too. I think There's, you're like, gonna like everything that happens after this point. I'm ready, dude. Uh, I left on cutscenes chat, so you can, since Brad's gonna be watching the cutscenes, so you can see it as well if you haven't seen this yet. Dude, this is such a cool boss. Damn. I, the, I was like, why do they keep? I thought it was gonna be like the oh, Xar, or oh, Alinovis becomes like a super Asian or something. You down. So I thought it was gonna be like a dumb, like it, it's obviously it's a story spoiler, but like it wasn't anything like hype wise. Mm -hmm. So what I saw was the little fucking warrior of light. I was like, okay, yeah. this is pretty hype. I, I respect what they did here, keeping it a secret. Uh, there is something that's gonna come up, Brad, that I wanna like ask you if you uh, agree with me. Okay. Uh, then look like this. Oh, holy shall shit! Be uh, I'm guessing they are not new then. I'll say. Oh wow, no, we all no just one got stay, No down one's staying to... stacked, so. I just have to do this. Uh, let me switch this. Stay there. All right, I won't say anything, Brad, unless you. Ask. Okay. My game's so loud, shit. I should have turned it down more. Oh, wait. Uh, no one's moving. Okay. Okay. Everyone's moving. I'm just literally just looking at what the party's doing. Did, uh, did you see the symbol in the middle of the bike? Uh, yeah. They look like something you'd see on like a. Yeah, it's like pause. Yeah, there you go. You should uh, maybe do what that means. Oh. It didn't pop up again, but it was the fire so thing. That, yeah, so they were Dream telling you what the name of the thing off. did. Okay. So what you need to do during each of those elements. What the fuck's happening? Ah! Oh! 
Excuse me? So, uh, you've seen this happen before, Brad. You get chained up like this, what usually follows? What, is this like button spam time? Be prepared. So is it just the mouse, or can I push any key? Uh, you can push anything, and I think the more you push, the easier it is. I don't know about oh. mouse and keyboard, but on controller, like, so chat, I'm just hitting every button I can. See how I'm not, I'm not on my screen, I'm not even falling at all. Everyone I'm pushing this as hard. hard as I can in my space bar. I'm sorry, Chad. I'm, not even, I'm barely even trying. Barely even trying. Yeah, so it must be easier. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't know which key if it would work, right. dude. The panic. Uh, I, I am going to get... Okay, keep keep watching, Brad. Whoa, what's happening, dude? Cannot be. Thanos. Yes, chat. That's Nomura. So that hand motion gives away who it was. A certain uh, villain you fought. To me, Shadow warriors of light. That. Oh. Okay, so Brad, this far right here. Uh, I formally I announced my speculation that Warrior of Light will be coming to Smash Brothers because of this. <laughs> Shit, dude. That'd be so hype, actually. Warrior of Light, hope. Final Smash! For victory, I render up my all! Shit, powered up. Alright. I will say, Brad, this Your is the part where you have no control. Oh, dude, what's happening? I He's limit breaking? It. Is he limit breaking? He did it too early. Well, maybe it might work. They were like right on. That was like to the second. Holy shit! You still stand. So uh, we earned the checkpoint. Okay, tight. <laughs> Be gone, spawn of shadow. So you notice he summons yeah, the he... light. Okay, these need okay, two people in each. Darkness must be destroyed. Oh, <laughs> Remember what his first cast was. Fire, okay. don't have to just the two can't be overlapping I, at least yeah. are, like us surviving that close it actually is not that bad people have the person run far away but it only matters on the screen all right so this is my soul knows no surrender What the hell just happened? Grant me strength. I don't know how it works in story mode, but in uh, it, I think he targets the people with the three markers above their heads. 
Oh shit. Like he you targets get... a tank, a healer, and a DPS for that previous one. This one just forms into two groups. You can't get hit by both. In the extreme version of what he just did, he targets a random healer, a random DPS, a random tank, so you have to break into three groups. This mechanic in, uh, in, I'm dead. in yeah. that mechanic what in Extreme I... is not telegraphed. Steel, you know, what was uh, I supposed to do there? You just take him, not overlap with each other, and take him to the edge. I took one of the edge. I think a guy was, too, was close too close to me. Someone was too close to you, that's all. Okay. Does this work like EX? Okay, so it's gonna be here. Don't move. Oh, is, you get two safe spots in this one? Oh. oh, dude. But yeah, dude. Uh, is that the dragon move? Yeah. Gone, so, saw what he cast there. Blizzard. Okay. So, at the end of his really slow cast, at the end of the set of mechanics, that's the timer for when you want to do move or stop. Oh, this is Ninja. Face it out towards the wall. I'll just say that because this can actually wipe everyone. <laughs> okay. Done. So yeah, when you exit, you're, you get more story. So we'll just uh, we'll just wait for you. Okay. Uh, I'll start making a party for the next near thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm. Be interesting to hear your thoughts. Uh, I don't. I'm gonna say this. I'm pretty disappointed with the storyline of this raid of the near raids. Oh. Um, well. I haven't gotten to watch any of the story really yet. I need to go back and watch cutscenes. Don't so I feel won't like you're mi missing too terribly much. Okay. But I mean, you should definitely check them out. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna make a party finder for it. Okay. You, uh, unlock. Um, this is not a trial, this is a raid. This is the puppet's bunker. So, uh, same thing, chat. Uh, password is four ones if you want to come help with the uh, Puppet's Bunker, the new Near Raid, while Brad uh, goes unlock it. I, uh, I think the. I still like the copied factory more mm. uh, as a, as a, uh, for the fights. I think it captures, for me personally, it's better atmosphere, uh, and I like the the fights a little bit better. Some people like 
there are a decent amount of people who I've seen like the the new one more. So I think it's comes down to maybe preference. Mm. There's a uh, there's only one mechanic, Chad. I haven't uh I haven't figured out in the bunker yet. When we get to it, I'll ask. I figured out the the tank boss, the or the mech tank thing. I don't want to say too much more. Uh, I figured out the one part I was struggling at. I, I figured out where you, you're supposed to look at something, chat, to tell where you're supposed to stand. And anyway. <laughs> I get the last version of it. I get why I was always guess I was going to the wrong spot. Oh, I, I get it now. I, I saw the the visual cue that made me understand why I was standing wrong. Uh, the the only thing I don't know uh, the exact safe spot. I just end up getting hit by one thing, and I'm like, whatever. Uh, is during when you when you break into three groups for a certain fight. Uh, you're not separated, but you're supposed to be fighting your own thing. There's a certain mechanic that all three of the enemies do in tandem. Uh, and there's two variations of it. And I don't know the exact safe spots for... Just because I don't care. It's, it's such a big arena, I'm not even like, looking. I figured out the first variation where the safe spot is, because it was obvious. While Brad is... Uh... I will here. So Brad is doing this. I will mark away. So there are three enemies like this chat in your groups. They do. They they cast something, and then they either the enemies face each other. So this A would face C, C would face B, B would face C. Sometimes they have something on this side of them chat if it's that the safe spot is here always in, in, in here however there are they're going that way however there are times when it is their thing i believe is on they're not i don't know if they're all on on the inside like this but i oh this is for the sake of this is to say that it is they're all on the inside like that so if, if i was on this I always stood like back here, but I always get hit by one here, so I just take the hit by one. So I, I just I get hit like this. So when they're when they're all on the inside like that, I stand out here and get hit by one. So wherever, uh, so do I need to go stand? in where it's dashing to on the correct side or uh, am I, is it because I'm back here I'm getting hit by the dash from A to C I think I'm getting hit by the like so let's say A was dashing to C and I'm looking at A I stand here but I still get hit so I think I'm getting hit by the dash so I think I need to be like here and as far out as I can I think I think this but then there are some people who are like behind, completely behind, and they don't get hit sometimes. I don't. May I'm just too close. May I need to go even further away. So that's the only thing I haven't like like completely figured out. I just know don't get hit by two. It's fine. I'm guessing I'm just too close. Again, uh, while Brad's unlocking this chat, uh, we need a... Uh, I will edit. Oh. We need uh, two more DPS and we need a... A tank or healer. If someone goes heal, I can go tank. We have three more spots open. But yeah, I just, the, that part, I was like, eh, I don't care. If it, I just, 
everything in in in, uh, in these story raids just don't get hit by two things at once and you're fine generally mm. uh what were you asking uh someone's asking uh how to, what do you think of shiva unreal uh it was as exact as i expected uh pretty easy and i only mean that and it's not a bm thing it's just as someone who farmed that fight for hundreds of times when it was relevant uh i i essentially I know that a Realm Reborn Primal is inside out. I know every little intricate detail about how every mechanic works, where you need to stand, what it, like, I know, like, I did, I religiously did that shit. Uh, and, and that, that is the one thing that is, like, stuck with me the most is the Realm Reborn Primals. Like, tricks and, like, little, little shortcuts you can do to stuff. And we cleared it in three pulls with my static. And half of them didn't like had either never never done the fight or didn't remember the fight. Uh, the first pull we got to the end of the we saw the second like she always starts with staff post ads. We got to her drawing her first sword and then like people just wiped to that. Uh, clarified how to do the beginning of that correctly, and then we hit enraged. Uh, sorry, we hit enraged two more times. We hit enraged twice. Uh, I think we hit it with 4% then 1% uh, and then we cleared it so it's actually 4 pulls sorry uh, it took us 2 lockouts and we did, but we did it blind uh, someone looked up one thing but uh, we did it blind for example like that that that's the light star the, the steel mechanic like was it like light steel or whatever where the boss carves out a pattern uh, it took me like six times seeing that to figure out where the safe spot was. I was like, okay. I kept looking at the patterns and I was like, finally I caught on that like the three edges that get cut out, the edge that doesn't get a border on it is the safe spot. I was like, oh yeah, okay. Like I just had to see each of those specters like once, I think, to get them. Uh... Yeah, we, we, we started the third lockout. We cleared it, like, on the second or thir third pull of the third lockout. Uh, but we had, like, a dumb mistake on one of the pulls. So, like, I don't really count. Like, it was, like, whatever. It wasn't even, like... We... We, uh... We didn't even see the... the, the we saw all four of the... <laughs> the Spectres of Light. But, uh, we, uh, didn't see that, uh... We didn't, uh... We didn't see all four of them the, the second time we cleared. We're like, alright. What is the role? Oof. First light rampant progression. Oh, I can't do too big. A friend of mine was asking if I could help with E8S. Their group clear E8S. They're on Prague, they're on Light Rampant, but they run on Tuesdays. Like, eh, I cannot do Tuesdays like that, sorry. Group stream, baby. I was like, I can do, I can do. I was like, I'm someone who's cleared. If you let me go on Wednesdays, like, you'll have the benefit of someone who knows how to do the fight as the healer. As one of the healers, I'll help a lot, since that fight is very healing intensive. Uh, I want to get a few more weapons from EADS, so I'd be down to clear it a few more times. But yeah, uh, but here, let me let me go back to Unreal real quick while Brad's still unlocking. Uh, Shiva is the easiest of the Realm of Warm Primals, hands down. Maybe, maybe, it depends how they, what they do with Ifrit. It depends what they do with Ifrit. If they allow you to, if they, if they freaking allow you to, they have to, I'm going to be, it's going to be weird. They have to remove the current fix. The current fix is if you kill all the nails too fast, or if you do too much damage on him and don't kill the nails, he wipes you. That doesn't work anymore. They got rid of that from E Extreme because they're like, just let people clear it. Like it's a, it's an old fight. That can't fly. That will break the fight. You will be able to break the fight if you do that. The only thing I could see them doing in, 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 in place of that is if you kill them too fast during any of the nail phase, all the nails, remaining nails go off simultaneously and that will like insta-kill you uh, 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 synced, if you're synced. Um, 
maybe you tank LB3 then and survive. I don't know. It's so... If Reet depends on how they how they set it up again, because current changes to the rules would make that fight kind of broken. Do I have to finish the story to unlock the near raid? No, it's okay. the so the near raid starts in uh go to Kalusia warp to Stilltide. I don't know if you've done this, and then by the go up the you have to go straight north and up that giant fucking wall. There should okay. be a blue question mark uh, or blue exclamation mark in that dwarf village on the east side right there okay. that ki kicks off the next stuff. I think. You might not have done them. There was a small quest line no. you got to do last patch for it that uh, I don't know if that uh, no, you did that. No, I don't that. see anything up there. Uh, chat, does he have to actually finish 5.3 to do the near thing? I, don't th I thought no. Is there anything over in uh, in Tomra, uh, the the far to the west side, all the way the west Aetherite in the northwest? Is there a blue thing there? Oh, I I know where you might need to go, Brad. Okay. Uh, let me warp to you and follow and follow me. The quest might be in the cave. Yeah. So. Uh, there should be an icon that looks like a oh, uh, wooden door. Oh, the near cave. I've yeah, the near cave. There. So you see those wooden doors? It's like by yeah, the dungeon. Yeah, I, go yeah. there. Yeah. And go inside. Yeah, go you might not have finished the quest line. Cool, cool, cool. Anyway, uh, back to my point, Chad. I, I think Shiva was the easiest. And I'm seeing people... There's still people who kind of struggle with the, the DPS check on that fight. It, it's not for... It's not like a walk in the park. I do think the hardest two will be Leviathan will be a challenge because of the, especially in pugs, because there's gonna be a lot of like disagreement about ore picking up. Like people are gonna slack on that. I think it's gonna wreck, especially at minimum eye, like equivalent of minimum eye level. I think the fight's even tuned harder than minimum eye level in my opinion. The, the Shiva, like, because if you get like two Vuln stacks as a non-tank, in the second phase, especially if you go into a staff, if you get two Vuln stacks, you're like dead. <laughs> you cannot get more than one Vuln stack ever, and even then, it's pretty rough. Oh, I have uh, to pick two sides from these yeah. dudes. I forgot about this. Yep. Uh, okay. Well, I don't know what's going on, so I'm just gonna pick one. Not time. Your end. choice will not affect rewards. Okay. We have uh, we have we have fourteen people who watch us who have no interest in Kyle Bossman chat. <laughs> They're like Kyle Bossman doesn't play fourteen. We don't care. Yeah, I think Leviathan will be the hardest for pugs. Uh, Titan Titans is gonna be the hardest. Period. The thing that's gonna get a lot of people with Titan, uh, besides like a DPS check. People are gonna learn real fast. You cannot like positioning is gonna be and timing is gonna be very important to bomb dodging. A lot of people are used to getting hit by getting nicked by uh, a bomb, one bomb, and living through it. A bomb hit to anyone but a tank at, at this difficulty will one shot you. Doing it at level, a bomb explosion one shot you at minimum my level. So it absolutely, if you get hit by one of the jails, the Titan jails, when they, or not jails, the bombs that fall down in the patterns, either the vertical, horizontal, or the circular pattern, if you get hit by one of those, you're dead. You are absolutely dead unless you're a tank. Uh, the Titan stomps, the Titan stomps, if you are not above 80% HP and healers don't start healing immediately, you will probably have some people die. So basically, healers are going to have to know mechanics inside out, the timing of everything. If healers do not know the timing of the mechanics, people are going to die really fast in that fight. Uh, tanks are going to get a little bit, have a little bit of easier time because there is tank cheese in that fight. Uh, Shiva is nice because you cannot tank cheese. You cannot invuln her tank buster. It will go through your tank buster. Yeah. However, you tank busters on Titan can definitely be invuln, but they have an added benefit. Uh, the mechanic, the tank mechanic for Titan is you get stacks from each mountain buster. At three stacks, it's virtually, it, like, if you, at three stacks, it's very hard to heal a tank. And you need to swap. And every time it gets to three stacks, you need to swap. Uh, this can be changed if you are, if you are Paladin. 
Paladin is going to be the new meta for this fight. Welcome back, Paladin. Wait, does every job have cover now, or is it just Paladin? I'm sorry. I forget. It's just Paladin still has cover, right? They didn't make it a roll action, right? I totally forget. It's just Paladin. So, Paladin... Paladin will cover every second tank buster on the main tank. Because they will take the damage, they will take the bone stack. Which will, the bone stacks have a counter, it will let the first bone stack fall off the main tank. So essentially, you don't have to do tank swapping. Now, I'm gonna guess that this difficulty for Unreal version, the timing will not perfectly work out for the last phase. There will probably need to be a tank swap probably once. Uh, at one point so you're gonna see a lot of like groups asking for a paladin and using the cover strat uh, that will make it life a lot easier mm. um, anyway yeah I, the fight like to me the fight's a joke even at minimum level I mean, you have to respect the mechanics but I, I, I feel like while it might be harder it'll probably be a rougher time to get the clear for that uh, I don't expect it to be ridiculous. Also, I'm Pardon? hoping with I'm hoping with a free uh, line of sight cheese returns as well. You can't do line of sight cheese as far as I know in the ultimate version of a free. Uh, I'm talking about searing wind. Uh, there's a mechanic where uh, the free will target a random healer and hit him with a debuff, which causes you to uh, it pulsate a big burst of fire that knocks back people and there's a lot of damage to them so you, you tell basically tell the healer to go af like peace out over in the far side of the arena uh and stay away however let's pretend this this uh this tree uh, this this dodo is a freak right here so dodo. yeah this dodo so it's face like you're dpsing dpsing he's eventually gonna turn so oh he's turning to face me if you run through his hitbox at the right time it will break line of sight momentarily, and he will not do Searing Wind on you. Which allows you to A, stay behind him, and keep DPSing and being close range, uh, getting your cane or book or astro globe slaps in. Also, a uh, better position for healing, uh, and one less damage thing you have to worry about. Alright. I'm in this factory. Hold on. Damiani is a mad scientist when it comes to 14. True. All my questions go to Damiani. Okay, speak to the sec chief. I think I'm almost there, chat. Damiani School of Hard Knocks. That's right. Love getting music rolls. Cough them up. Uh, VG Junkie, we did the the last boss of the story. Oh. Sorry, I was just typing. Oh, are you ready, Brad? Almost, I think. Almost, okay, sorry. Uh, what other. Sorry, I wasn't reading chat. Is there any. I'm only knowledgeable about the Realm of Warm Primals chat. Uh, Heaven's Ward Primals, I know a good amount too, but once we get to... I, I... I stopped caring about a lot of stuff after, like, starting in Stormblood. In terms mm. of, like, really being like, let's memorize all this and have it, like, known and stuff. It's like, eh, you don't really need to. I also stopped caring about farming shit in Stormblood. I was like, eh, just, I'm so burned out. I don't care about this anymore. 
Sure, yeah. Casual uh, I, I think... Sorry, Red. Play casually, baby. Just enjoy yeah. your time. Exactly. I think, uh, I think Garuda will give people problems. I think Garuda is going to cause people problems. Leviathan is going to cause people problems. Titan is going to cause people problems. Leviathan is going to cause people problems. Shiva was definitely... Ifrit and Shiva are mechanically the easiest of the of the two Realm Reborn primals. Uh, hands down. The only thing that's going to terrorize people in Ifrit is the healing check. It is going to... Healers are going to cry in that fight. Uh, <laughs> it is going to be harsh. Um, and you're really going to have to like get your DPS to the freaking learn how to do like controlled burns controlled dps it's a it's a lesson in controlled dps i think not since the savage fight it was, it was like the first time since like uh savage or ultimate where you had to like learn about controlled dps and it was like i think it was a little too soon for some people they're like what uh, i can't just go gamer. ham what's that? i will be playing the free patch oh he's talking about the pre patch and wow i will oh, play it when nice. it comes out uh, yeah, Titan just because of the amount of like Titan just like mechanic hell. It, it the, the, Titan's pacing is just so fast paced. Uh, mm. Shiva has some. She, they're all pretty fast paced, but Titan is just like non stop mechanics and lots of very elaborate. The mo at the time the most elaborate mechanics thrown at you. Oh, I have to like uh, kill these guys. Uh, Garud the reason Garuda is gonna cause people problems is because of a little thing called Spiny. You're going to see people rage about somebody killing Spiny too soon. And that's GG. So, you can, it, it, at, at, at the Unreal difficulty at the item level sync they're going to have, you will not be able to survive killing Spiny too, too soon on either. Uh, so, post ad phase. So, Gar Garuda begins. You do, you fight Garuda. You kill some, like, feather ads and stuff like that. Then she summons her two sisters, or whatever. Uh, you pull them apart, you kill them one at a time, the sisters, and then Garuda does her transition. Once you come back from the transition, it's basically... It, it, it rotates between two sets of mechanics. Uh, inner, inner vortex, where you have to stay inside a small circle... Uh, and you have to DPS her while a bunch of these ads, those feathers come back, but there's one called Spiny. If you kill Spiny, it creates a force field. Uh, I mean, it creates an AoE. If you're in the AoE and get hit by it, you're probably going to die unless you're a tank. But after the AoE goes off, it creates a force field, a barrier that mitigates damage. You need that to survive her shriek she does to transform the arena uh, every so often. So when she does the first shriek, it changes from a vortex, inner vortex, to outer vortex, which means there are four safe zones, and there are tornadoes in the cardinals and in the center. The second part of it's much harder because the sisters come back. You got to pull the sisters apart while the spiny comes back in play. And here's the other part of the spiny: the spiny will blow up, not just die, but will do a big raid-wide AOE if the person who has aggro in it has it for too long it builds up stacks on that person and after three stacks it blows up uh and, and it'll do raid wide damage which at that level will probably kill people so the tanks need to provoke her or provoke it uh the the, the spiny back and forth while also dealing with the sisters also dps could be dpsing so aoe attacks ranged who are tab targeting who might tab to the spiny for a second and auto attack it you kill the spiny and bam uh you, you, if it goes off to the shield vanishes after a while and if you do not have that buff during her shriek everyone will die uh and the strat usually stressful. is to get the spiny down to about like 10 percent hp and hold it there so that when she jumps into the she jumps off the she jumps into the air and is no longer targetable that's the and when she comes back she does her cast bar for her her raid white aoe in that window you have to kill the spiny make the aoe happen and then generate the field and then be in it and get the buff if that if you don't have the buff by the time her cast bar ends you will die so you don't want to have to kill her from full HP. So a lot of groups back in the day would get her low on HP. But obviously that comes with a risk. If anyone hits her with something by accident, the spiny will go off. So if a bard would accidentally tab target with autos and hit the spiny, oh, who killed the spiny? It's dead. We're done. 
<laughs> like tank tank LB3 will not save you through her 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 transitional uh, raid wide. So Man, I, I imagine that's gonna again. be. What's up? We're gonna be running through this factory again. Yeah, you, you just have to go to a part. You're almost there. That's like near the end. I like the factory though. It's sick. Sprinting. I'm also fun to see Leviathan because of the the second phase. First part's easy. Uh, it's not it's not that bad. It's just uh, having a, a pro. You have a basically you mark five people. You, I mean we have more markers now. Mm -hmm. You literally can mark all eight people for a priority order. So what it means is what 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 it means is there's a part in the second part in the second phase of Leviathan where it does Rolling Thunder. Rolling Thunder will target two people and they'll have an electric chain between them. You don't pull it to break it. Uh, any kind of movement, even just moving, causes you to take more, it increases the damage you take. It's a dot. You're gonna take damage no matter what. You cast, you do anything, you're gonna take damage. And in okay. this difficult, and, are you ready? I got it. Okay, cool. Uh, on this difficulty, uh, I think you'll die really fast if you if you try and cast like twice. If you, if you probably cast two times, you're probably gonna die uh, to it without dedicated heals. To break that chain, one of the two people needs to get three orbs. However, there's only a finite amount of orbs. Remember the tank, the tank needs three orbs to generate their invulner their buff to resist the tank buster from Leviathan. Uh, otherwise, they get one shot. Anyone will get one shot if they have aggro from that tank buster. So the tank needs three orbs. Uh, you're supposed to tank swap. Uh, the tank swaps can be a little rough, but there's a window for a tank swap where the other tank can go get three orbs and then get the buff and then take uh, take hate off a of Leviathan and then become the main tank. Because if the tank, if anyone gets a fourth orb while they have three orbs, you overcharge. And if you've done Leviathan, Ra uh, sorry, not Leviathan. I'm talking about Ramu. Sorry, Ramu, 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 Ramu. I'm talking about Ramu here. Sorry. Uh, all that was Ramu. Uh, if you've done Ramu Savage, you know about overcharge. You can actually overcharge. Uh, it's a, it's not good. It's bad. It's even worse of a thing in extreme Ramu. Uh, because you can't heal. The people who need heals, they can't get healed worth shit. Uh, stuff like, I think, Tetra, Assize, and Benediction go through the shield. Unless they're going to change that. But, like, normal heals, normal heal abilities will be... The potency will be nerfed uh, for each extra stack of overcharge they have. So you do, I don't think you're gonna be able to get away with that on uh, on Unreal. So basically, you need to make sure there are enough orbs for a tank swap, enough uh, orbs for the Rolling Thunder people, and it's a dance. You essentially need to know with each each set of lightning, it does lightning attacks across the arena that generate the orbs every so often. For each set of those, someone basically needs to either have a macro calling out what you do with those orbs. It usually goes in the order of tank orbs, rolling thunder orbs, cleanup. Tank orbs, rolling thunder orbs, cleanup. That's generally the order of it. However, it can get a little messy. Uh, yeah, I think we're ready. Time. Let's do it one more time. We'll the music out here, too, is great. I know. All right, here we go. Oh shit, here we go. And I got cutscene enabled too, so. Check it Near out. time. For Ben so, Moore, somewhere out there. Yeah, I, I expect 
Ramu and Pugs to cause a lot of like the first phase I'll be like, oh, this wasn't so bad. And then they'll get to like the second the, the, the second phase. The second phase, all these Enrollment Born fights last forever. They're like the majority of the fight. The first phases are like whatever. The second phase of all these fights were like 70% of the fight, usually. So I, I can see Ramu being pretty rough for Pugs. Especially there's a lot of damage going out during all that. Mm. Uh, I did mention Leviathan. I think Leviathan is also going to be a bit of a problem for some people. Uh, they're going to be, especially if you've never done it legit, uh, healers are going to learn really fast that you can't heal the, the bubble tank. There's a tank that gets a debuff. Each heal you do to it gives the healer a range, a range limitation stack, which means your spell's range efficiency gets decreased. Is that 2B? Yeah. So t 2B has shown up now. Uh, in, a, in a nutshell, you're going after 2P. Oh. Okay. Cool. I'll give you that much context. You'll see. Wh you can see why when you rewatch the, the cutscenes. I saw. Her oh yeah, I did skip it. Eh, yeah. Wrong yeah. time. <laughs> it takes forever, chat. It is a it is a cool reveal, but I mean, if you finished the end, if you if you actually remembered the end of the last raid, the cutscene, uh, I don't. Brad, you you it was pretty much obvious what was going to happen. It wasn't it wasn't. Like, I mean, I expected it to show up some point in this. Yeah. Wee. I, yeah, again with the Unreal stuff, I think it's nice that they're uh, they're offering it. I'm just personally, I would have preferred I would have preferred new mechanics. Uh, I mean, I guess the uwu is where you get the new mechanics if you really want it, or the ultimates. But I mean, I wanted Titan Extremes freaking arena with harder mechanics and that's basically what ultimate is but it's like condensed into like three minutes i wanted like a full like tentative fight like that Spooky, dude. Oh, shit, it's rotating. Actually, when we're done streaming here, I'm gonna begin my uh, I don't know what this new is. Realm Reborn playthrough. I got some shit on me. Ow. Okay, <laughs> you figured it out. That's exactly what to do. You get it right. Robots. 
right? You've seen everything. That's what, that's what we're okay. Pretty chill fight. Yeah. That, uh, the one where the whole field is covered, like, in the AoE, and it looks like they're, like... Oh, wait, sorry, this is the last mechanic. Okay. get hit by your cannons, the ones that fire, uh, they have a knockback on them, so people can get knocked back off the edge, like this thing. If you get oh. hit by one of these, you get pushed off. And we'll probably see this other mechanic again. This one, if you get hit by, uh, if you get hit by this one, you fall off. And you don't fall off if you're far enough forward, but if you're, mm -hmm. like, enough back, like most people probably didn't on the first day of me, I got knocked off. So, um, this, yeah. This one is just... Wait, yeah. It's a little delayed. no glamour set for this tier, right, chat? Like the chest you rolled on and, uh, copied back here. Oh, God, I'm off. <laughs> I got greedy! <laughs> oh, I finished my gas. I got the raise going. Oh, uh, where are they? Dude, where are they? I can't raise them. Why did they get pulled over there? There is not a glamour. Done. Pretty chill. So, uh, look at the gear and, uh. Jack shit for me. Okay. Technically, any piece is good, but you prefer. I, you probably should not get a belt. Belt or headpiece. Like, you already have, like, it. pretty good pieces yeah. for those. So, you're hoping, like, we're hoping for you to get uh, any of the other pieces. It's like, chest, gloves, legs, feet. This one's annoying because they don't silence. I think they'll give healers science, silence, science, silence in the next expansion chat. But I feel like everything else has silence, stun. We have stun, dude. Holy. Okay, here we go. Here comes stun. Ah. We need Celine's damn cleanse back. <laughs> I 
This is kind of chaotic. Yeah, when, so when groups don't silence, it's annoying. Like this again. Oh, this is only four seconds. Okay. Oh, shit! We're falling, dude! Oh, saved. Cool. I don't know, you just put silence on a long cooldown and then like have bosses that require you to... Okay, so chat. So... Is back here the safe spot? On the version I was thinking of? Is it all the way back there or no? We'll find out, Jeff. We'll find out together. This is the fight that has the one mechanic I haven't, like, figured out the safe spot yet. Just cause, uh... I wasn't... I was just, like, content getting hit by once. This needs to be phased out. Towards you, each group needs to face out towards their wall to be safe. So you face it in, you might hit other groups. <laughs> so this is the mechanic. Okay, so this is the easy one. Easy, huh? To figure out. That one I know. On the when they on the other side, that's why I don't know. Mechanic is easy to stand back here. When the middle circle is one more Okay. Yeah. So there's you can dodge it however you feel comfortable dodging, but to me that's like the easiest. Sure, yeah. This is a cool mechanic. I was just trying That's to get funny. them back up to, uh... Nice. 
got this. Wait. Oh, you're gonna make this easier for me because we're gonna kill ours before you see the mechanic. Mechanic? Uh, we're not gonna see the second of the triangle mechanics. So I'm not gonna oh. find the safe spot. Yeah. Easy uh, game. This is just oh, get the fuck it. away from these. We're the best group. Feels good, man. So this is, this is easy. Just come over the here. There's no third one now, so just stand here. Or not? Oh. What? Then <laughs> <laughs> what? How, how did I even open? They weren't even near uh. me. What? <laughs> oh, that's funny, dude. Why did it happen? I don't even uh, see. I don't know that. I have no idea how that works. <laughs> So did their oh, swords man. just cover the whole fucking side? Like, there is no safe spot on that side? There has to be an like, certain explanation of that. God, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. I didn't move. That was my bad. I just thought one whole side was going to be safe because we didn't have a third one. Oh god, I have like no MP right now. Turn that home. Hey, I, right, I've, been, I've been helping the other groups, chat. Give me a break. Give a break, for pity's sake. So for that one, when they're on the inside, is it literally like find like if this guy was dashing this way and the sword was on the inside, is it literally just go on the side without a sword and the way they're facing? That was cool. I, I thought I tried that and I still got hit. One time. Fending and maiming for Lancer Dragon. Yeah, not me. Anyway, that's the only that's the only mechanic I don't know where to dodge for the that variation of it. Life of though there was a little triangle spot in front of it that was technically safe. Uh, stop for a second before you go down the second slide and look left. What the hell? It's the Yorha thing. I recognize this place. Oh, you're too far ahead. Oh no, you're right here. Look. When you come down, look at this. 2B or a room. Cool. Come back here after you beat this. Okay. You go there. I need to go to a, a Platinum Eternal Bonding to get the... the. Isn't there a minion they added like a year or two ago? that A, a second Eternal Bond minion that you have to be a guest to get? I don't have that one. I need to go to someone's Eternal Bond ceremony to get that other minion so please invite me if you're on a uh, if you're on bro, a crime bro, bro thanks for reset so this fight had the second mechanic i didn't understand at first uh I, third uh my playthrough my alt i understood how it worked i got it
VD Junkie, I have 100% tried that and gotten hit. I must not be far enough back on that one. That's why I wanted to see it. I wanted to see, like, I mean, you can't place a marker. This is on, I know this is near Automata, but this sounds like Fantasy Star Online music. It does. Step back at the party. I hate you. <laughs> Don't face it into the party. That's how tanks can get their revenge on you. They can face into the party and kill you. Oh, whoops! I moved into that. Shit! I thought it was those wrong. don't go off right away. You need to be. Oh, okay. If you have one of those, stand still uh, until you actually get hit by it. Okay. Because you can move back in and overlap them and kill people. Yeah, this fight sucks because there's so many ways people can kill you. And it's not fair. Like, it's out of your hand <laughs> in a lot of spots. Yeah, I don't like that. On casual content. It's like, really? Why would you do that? Are like, you ready to give us enough to worry about? Why do I have to count for, like, every other person's action? Pop in the orbs, thank you so much. <laughs> sure, it's only me. Yeah, I don't have to move, but I mean, that's not the mechanic, is not the pop zone. Oh. I mean, you yeah. don't want to get. They give you a vulnerability stat. It's the it's just bullet hell, they just don't want to get hit. Okay. So far away. Using up time. <laughs> so this is the one, like, you just want to create safe lanes and then stand still. Wait for the actual hit to go off, and now it's still good. Okay. Oh. Still alive, baby. Right, tanks, do not point these back into the party, please. Don't kill me this time. He did. Well, he pointed... 
I was in it, I guess. This is the this chat this is the tricky one. I always failed, but I know how to do it now. This one, yeah, it's, he's gonna start jumping around. This part sucks. After this AoE, he does like three jumps. So be near okay. the middle because you have to get into his like hitbox to avoid being hit. Oh, it's after this. We might not even see it actually. For this mechanic, it's towers basically, Brad. Mm -hmm. And there's like a countdown. And you just have to put enough people into each C. There's like a black bars, they were white at first, that indicates how many yeah. people I need in each. Okay, so this is where he's going to jump, so he's going to end up over here. Sorry, I said it was random. I mean, where they end up are going to be random, but or where he places them is going to be random, where he ends up will not. Chest. Dude, that's that's good. Hopefully, I get it. Me, oh yeah, on totally. The chest. Yeah. Oh, well, you're the I only rogue know. ninja. So <laughs> I rolled, no, there's one more in our group. No, not. Oh, in our group, yeah. You only roll against our group. You don't oh, okay. Everyone. So if you roll neat on it, you're getting it, and you should. Yay! Nice. You can equip it right now if you want to. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, mine's four four. Maybe such an upgrade. Hell Dude, yeah. this is my favorite part of the raid. Ah, what the fuck? This is my favorite part. Everyone hates this for some reason. I freaking love this part. This is cool, dude. This is where you can showcase your uh My ninja skills? Godlike skills, yeah. Love it. Favorite part. Yeah, I think this part's cool, actually. I want this. 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 Un. This does not trivialize trash mob parts. It, it adds excitement and tension to what would otherwise be a trivialized section of fight. Stay up here, just keep dancing and stuff. Look at all these people getting hit by orbs. <laughs> Let's go first. Bring it. Bring it. What do you got? <laughs> Let's go. 
charge the front lines. <laughs> I don't, I'm sorry, I'm not even healing off. anyone in this part. This is purely selfish mode. Fine, here's a kill. I'm sorry. Fine. Dude, here's a heal. let's go, let's go. Gotta look flashy and shit. Yo, what's up? What's up? Dodging. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 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 This is Fall Guys practice right here, by the way. Yeah, totally. That's, that's Fall Guys practice. You know the level with the things coming at you really fast, and you gotta like mm -hmm. the, the blocks keep coming at you, on your, mm -hmm. and it's like a wheel. That's that level. That's that right there. Uh, Skeleton Warrior takes the resub and Cure thanks for the resub. Uh, yeah, I have my cutscenes enabled for this chat, so we'll see this cutscene with Brad. I can't wait to see his reaction to this. It'd be fucking awesome. No VO sucks, man. I was gonna say, is there VO? Ah, well. Bring some from, from Prime Time Yokotaro shit. What the fuck? Shells, dude. Oh my god. It's like that enemy from Symphony of the Night. <laughs> oh shit, okay. What's that error code, Chad? Top. What does it mean? Is that like a calculator error? Yo, what's up? Yep. I've played video games before. <laughs> I did. I've played video games before. Nice try, Square. Here we go. Might have to spam my keyboard again. No, just enjoy. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Yeah, this is like the rotten from Dark Souls. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, dude. Cool. Whatever. I had trouble seeing that mechanic before. This one I still struggle with, but I just tend to only to get it by one. Please don't run towards me. Stop! Stop! Not, not this one. No, no, not you. Some guy's like running right at me with the thing. Uh, I thought going. it was a different mechanic. There's a pod mechanic that happens. Soon. Okay, oh, so I have this a is. My head. Just, yeah, don't aim, aim it away from everyone if you can.
this music. I still like this, the other one more. Caster LB. Oh dear. Not during this, it's bad. Oh no, we got one too. I got two. I faced it. Way, I guess. Alright, I got four. Yay! Yay! That was fucking out of control. What the hell was happening? Can't even go. That was a disgusting one. Yeah, the coin you get from this is only once a week. Uh, Copied Factory's coin is unlimited now, though. Dude, I got some sick Roarha jacket. Yeah, so you can't roll on anything. No, yeah. It's so uh, alright, I got a big... But you should roll on everything else on here, though. See if you can get it. Yeah, 49, 85, so... Not good. Can't wait to get this minion when it's part of the Moogle Tombstone event in like a year. <laughs> Nice. So you got one. Nah, I think. I think I already yeah, got one dude. of the songs. Maybe. Yeah, it's a 2B minion. Last tier was 2P. And then, uh. That is. Yeah. That was nuts. You are now, uh, done with that. Yay! The only thing I can think of. Uh, I'm not sure if you've ever done. Uh, did you ever do the Heaven's Ward 24 person raids or no? Which ones the, are those? The Void Arc, the Weeping City of Moth, and Dunscape. No, I've never done those. Alright. Forget if he needs to do those at any point for anything or not. And save them for another time. Yeah. Uh, they're not, they're like nerfed into the ground now. Like, they're super easy. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're a joke. Can you get, like, two B's weapons and stuff? Weapons? No. The Yorha ones? Oh, man. You can get her outfit. And that, or, yeah, you can get the outfit, and that's about it right now. Square Y, dude. The weapon might be the last thing. Who knows? Maybe they'll give us weapons. Uh, did the new Yokai event start yet, Chad? I know there's a seasonal event happened. I already did that. Oh, wait, there's going to be another part of the raid? Yeah, there's one last part. Oh, three. There's always three parts, right? Yeah, so that was part two. So there's there's a part three. Cool. That'll be the end. Another android. Was it nine S? So makes me want to play Nier again. All right. Well, anything else you want to do? Or are you good? I think I'm good. That was a pretty sick run. Yokai starts in the 19th. Alright. I have to get the last few of those. Yokai. There's new Yokai they added. It's so stupid. But there's a mount tied to it, so I'm like, damn it. Alright, fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. This is a cool, cool raid. I like the desert area. The start. Yeah, I like I liked the beginning the most. So my, my so now that you've seen it, Brad. Uh, besides mm -hmm. my story complaints, the highlights for me are the first area, the first environment looks really cool to me. Yeah. Uh, so here, like, I literally can do this right now, because like, I don't need to, 
I can go to the zone real quick. I want to show everyone this. Obviously, everyone can peace out. I think we're going to be done. So, okay, so this is the new zone. So, like, this part, chat. I, I really like this part here. Um, this part was kind of, like, cool. Like, just seeing the environment. Like, because it's the crashed Yorha station. Crashed in the desert like that. Mm -hmm. So, it's pretty cool. Uh, I just didn't really like the interior environments that much. I liked the... Um the part where you're going through like their bunkers like their rooms and stuff where it's really yeah cool. that part sliding down like yeah when we're up there and then we slide down that's kind of cool and the like the the sprint like where the lasers going the cord the co was, yeah the, i the, love that part the corridor part is my favorite of the interior parts uh i just didn't really like the boss arenas for gotcha. anything inside gotcha. so i feel like so the thing we is it the thing we no, that's not the same thing. Never mind. I like, I mean, I like these solar panels here. It's just like, it's a pretty cool design here for this outside area. But yeah, once I get inside, I get kind of into the bunker. I mean, the, the falling part here was kind of cool, like where you catch your pod. Like, I mm -hmm. like that. But once you get inside here, like, I didn't really like this. It's like, eh, whatever. It's just like a, uh, it's just like a, just a giant hanger. It's like okay, it's a hanger. I mean, thanks for playing, everybody. That was awesome. Yeah, thank you, everyone who you helped. Y'all are pros. I think my favorite part of the raid was when you and me died together, though. At that one. I part. thought though, yeah, I was like, there's because one of the ships was dead. I was like, oh, this side's gonna be completely safe now. I was like, no, you're wrong because we got hit by two things. I was like, oh, yeah. you stupid game. <laughs> it's like I hate you, game. Excuse me, chat. This part I like, so I like this part. I like being inside here, chat. Being inside the the Yorha station. This part gets better here. Also, this is what I wanted Brad to see. This opens up when you come. Uh, oh, you can you go into her back. room. Yeah, can't read the text though. Watch the stream. But yeah, that opens up. That is cool, man. That opens wow. up. That's neat. Like, this room's, like, okay. It's a little... I mean, the screens are cool, but otherwise it's a little basic. Um, then I... This last stretch, I don't like this at all. I, th I think this part looks horrible. I mean, it was good because of the enemy thing, and I like the blue hue, but, like, this is just... It's just meant... It, it, this just had to be a corridor, that's all. It's a giant corridor. So what they did with it was cool, but... It's just a boring corridor mm -hmm. without that, so... It's kind of like the the sacrifice you make. Uh, I think I have to go to the end to exit out now. Uh, if you want to join the, the the free company, you just have to find anyone with a easy A above their head, and then you can sub go to free company and submit an application, or you can just come. Uh, you can come to our uh, our FC house in uh, the Goblet. If you go to the Aetherite in Ulda, you can go to residential districts. We're in the first one, uh, so just warp there, and then you can look at the map to see our house. Mm. I, I mean, I reckon just bring it up right here and show you where it is. It's a uh, our house is in plot is plot eight in the first ward of the Goblet. There you go. You need to be on Ultra, so yeah, you can't join FCs unless you're on the same server. Uh, but you uh, obviously, if you're on the same data center, you can play with us. Right. So you can you can be on Primal and uh, you can play with us. Let me. Uh, That's right. Here, let me explain what I like design-wise. I'll wrap it up here about the first one. The first area, is, the first opening area, seems similar. It's a desert. You're out. You're like out in a desert area. I have to just go to the entrance. What's 
Yeah, if you can try and get an Ultros, that would be easiest, honestly. So, sorry, not desert, but... So this opening area, it's, uh... It's kind of the same vibe, except, like, kind of like the, the forest. Sure. I mean, the, the, the structures of the first area are probably a little bit more interesting, because it's a space station. This is supposed to be a factory, so it's like, eh, factories are kind of boring. Space stations are cooler to me. But it's like, once I get inside, like, the, I don't know. I kind of liked this look of nature taking over industry here. Like, seeing the vines and the trees growing in here, I kind of dug this a little bit more. Sure. Uh, I'll admit, like, this first part is probably, like, the weakest part of the copied factory, this first area. I think, maybe, or was the second area? But yeah, like that. That looks great. Like, that factory over there that we're gonna go to? I don't know. Mm -hmm. It just looked really cool. And you can, like, yeah. see further out. Give me some, like, uh, FF7 remake vibes. <laughs> <laughs> also, the room. 2B's room is really cool. But uh, the, the extra room here was pretty awesome. Up here. Sorry, it's coming up. They, they really need to let us have sprint back to like 30 seconds when we're out of combat. <laughs> I'm like 6.0, I'm waiting for that change right now. It's outside of combat. Sprint's cooldown has been reduced to 30 seconds. That would be Little nice. bummed you can't go over here, but that's all right. Because when you come over here, when you did this the first time, coming into this room was horrifying. This this little room over here with all the dead bodies. It's yeah. like, what the fuck? Like, this is like... Spooky. Oh, those are androids. Uh, I like the... I did like the second boss fight. Uh, for this, the copy factory, the like, GLaDOS style the, fight. The three? What was the three, uh, like, separate bosses? So the first that one, cool. first was one was just, boy. uh, the machine that, yeah. like, it was the bullet hell part, uh, and then, like, a lot of knockbacks, and then, like, yeah. the overhead things moving around. The second boss was basically, you broke up into three. Yeah, um, that was cool. Like fighting, yeah, fighting this tank thing was really cool, and fighting the mm -hmm. the Orhavs like flight vehicle. But then this one was like, uh, yeah, the Glados fight. I kind of like this. Oh, people are saying the pu uh, puppets bunker is harder. I was like, I don't think so. This area, I this freaking area blows away anything in uh, the second one. Just like. I think they just nailed this part. This part is so good. Yeah. I can't go any further, unfortunately, unless I'm like actually in the raid. But yeah, fighting, fighting was it angles or whatever on the plaf like this was like this was fucking it. Like fighting this this fight here, this yeah, was like was the high point for me. Was fighting I was fighting angles. I was like, no, and and summoning the cranes and stuff or the the saws like this was perfect. Yeah, I wonder what area they'll do for the third part like this they area was like, fantastic they could do the city or they could do like that white area i forgot what it was called it's a lot they could do i wonder if a yeah. meal will show up too this is so good but like what they said puppet and they were playing like uh the music and stuff and like they basically were teasing it was gonna be the 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 cons not the concert the carnival i thought it was gonna be the carnival so i was like dude part two is gonna be so awesome and i think it was just what the sure oh my gosh look at this thing yeah that's good this man. thing that's good our house looks great um all right i think so i think we've gotten almost the almost caught up brad i would say on your own time if you want just uh how much uh what's your currencies look like for your tomes right now before we sign off pretty pretty low. let me see because uh, not 453 phantasmagoria and 453 
Yeah, 298 for allegory. Allegory? Okay. Well, you're getting close. Uh, this will Phantasmagoria only buy you for 60 stuff. Actually, wait. Oh, only for pre-Shadowbringer stuff does it buy the advanced stuff. Okay. So this will buy you 460 stuff. So any piece that's below 460, we can still try yeah. and replace with that at the very least. But once you get higher in allegory, I feel like basically in, in easy terms, you can get a you can get all left side 490 just from like the near raid. And then I would yeah. probably spend your uh, your other uh, your uh, allegory on your right side on your mm -hmm. on your accessories to get 490 for those. That way you can have a 45 weapon, 490 left side, and then 490 accessories. The only thing will be the ring. Uh, we'll have to get you a, a different ring somehow. You might, you, you, at the very least, you can have a 4 six uh, four. 480 ring? I think you have a 480 ring. I right have now, a 480 right? ring, yeah. Yeah, so you'll keep that, and then you'll place the other ones with 490. So that way, you will probably be like just under 490. You'll be like 488 or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you'll at the very least, you'll be like 488. I 488, and the max level is I 505 right or I 500 right now. Um, the only way. Uh, but wait. Oh shit. Uh, actually. We haven't bought Wait. anything yet. Um, we will need to get you. Uh, where are you? Oh, once you buy, once you buy. So Brad, once we buy you accessories with uh, the allegory, we can actually get you an upgrade mat. Uh, so the, there's a coin that dropped from the the puppet's bunker. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you also get a coin. You should probably have some coins maybe left over from uh, at least one from the copied factory. Uh, okay. Here, let me uh, show you what they look like. So one's called the Puppet's Coin, which should be in your inventory. Uh, it's a okay. black coin. And then the other one is... Uh, yeah, I got Puppet's Coin. Is this a chat? No, I don't think... What is it? Mulo? Yes. No, this is. I think this is not it. I think it's the. I forget. Well, I can go look it up. But essentially, you should have a coin from the cop factory. I'll tell you what it's called. I'll look it up. But you can buy with those two coins. You can buy an upgrade mat. Uh, an okay. upgrade uh, a 490 piece of gear you buy with allegory. You can upgrade that to 500. Oh shit! Okay. So here, uh, it's under glorious. So you need a uh, manufactured coin. Okay. I have no manufactured coins. I just have one of the. So we can basically get you. Uh, we can upgrade one of your right side to five hundred. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. I would say. Yeah, that way, like, because we should definitely get you to at least, uh, we probably do your ring first. I'd mm -hmm. probably buy your buy a ring for 490, and upgrade it to 500. That way, uh, worst comes to worst, you can buy like another 490 ring if you never get a 500 ring. Uh, that way, you at very least we can get you to like four uh, I four like four above I 490, if you really want. But I mean, sure, yeah. Getting you to I 480, I think, is. Uh, the safe spot now that, that will make you i480 will keep will get you ready i40 or i45 will have you ready for next for 5.4 basically okay. yeah that would what that should be like the long-term goal but otherwise yeah i think you are in a pretty good spot okay. um right now since you've done all the the regular content at this point But yeah, good stuff. Cool. Yeah, real good. Thanks, thanks everyone. For chat. Yeah, thanks everyone for helping out. I am gonna yeah. switch over and start my uh, my Realm Reborn stuff. <laughs> and uh, start doing that capture and notes for that. So I'm gonna start working on that. Um, hopefully, I'm assuming it's gonna, I, I know it will, and I'm assuming it's gonna go much faster than the previous playthrough before all the changes so that will be 
that'll be fun to see. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be working on putting together a video about the changes plus like how I feel the two experience like it was it for the you know was it for the better was it for the worse and then just like overall like how I think of OG or not OG how Realm Reborn holds up you know seven years later and uh, how much of those changes uh, mitigate any of the shortcomings I'm, I might have found with a uh, Realm Reborn seven years later yeah all right, cool. and then uh, to, you got to stream tomorrow, though, right, Brad? That's right. More Breath of the Wild. Gonna start. I'm working on getting the DLC, uh, Divine Beast. So hopefully we'll beat that tomorrow. Then nice. we'll probably beat the game the week after that. Sweet. All right, everyone. We will. Uh, we will see you next time. And, uh, again, thanks for everyone who helped out. Yeah, and, thank uh, you. You know, hit us up if you have any other questions and stuff like that. So, until next time, bye. Bye.